Hello YouTube, it's Rose still here, and today I just wanted to go over actually what I use to record and all that kind of stuff because I actually just added something new to my setup and I just want to show you guys and overall just what I use to record on a regular basis. So without any further ado, let's get to the door. So this is really what I normally use to record. That's new. I'm going to show this first because it is new. This is a actually Guitar Hero microphone from a rock band thing. Now say what you want, but actually it's USB, so I can plug it into my computer, record the audio, while this is also recorded the audio that is Techstar SCG598, so they can both be synced. So I wanted this here and also to kind of record some other audio near me so I can get better audio, even though I have the shotgun mic. This is also going to record better audio. This is also going to be perfect for voiceovers because I can just record it right into my computer. Um, the, I did have another microphone similar to this from a rock band set, but it did, did not have the USB feature, so I could not really record into it. And I also sit on this stand, it's originally actually a paint stand, but you can sit it on the stand for the microphones. And next time, I, and I actually got this little half in the shot, but I'll keep that out of shot next time. And also, obviously, you all know my Nikon D3300, and also, I haven't reviewed this. Yet I might, I might, I might not, but I don't know actually. But it's a Techstar SCG five nine eight. It's a budget um, shotgun mic and actually works really well. It picks up great audio even for the price. Even though it's like a cheap Chinese microphone, still works great. I mean the Rode ones. I would get like a Rode video mics if, but you know those things are expensive. Like a Rode video mic go ninety dollars. I mean this is like thirty bucks, thirty five. That's easily much cheaper, and also this tripod I have, I really haven't focused on it much. It's not a, it's not a fancy, expensive tripod. It's like a basic one. I mean, one of the legs aren't isn't working very well. Even I mean, this tripod's kind of kind of budget cheap. It's not not terrible. It's a basic one, but when one of the what well, one of the legs does eventually break, I will replace. This tripod, but it's a good tripod. I mean, it's solid. And also, I did review this a while back. Like, I actually unboxed, I actually set this up and actually showed this to you guys. It's a Limo Studio Softbox. I have it bouncing off the roof for some bouncing off light, as well as my fan lights, kind of give the room a more natural feel. I mean, if I have it like this, obviously the room turns yellow, but if I have this light off, it turns white and there's not enough light. I mean, this is just the perfect combination having some bouncing off light, at least in my opinion, and everything like that. So this is basically my setup, what I use, and all that kind of stuff. So yeah. <laughs> 